It's Miss Megan with the Canton Public Library, and we're gonna do a story time today. And our theme is tigers. So let me teach you the sign in American Sign Language for tiger. You're gonna cup your hands like this. And you're gonna make some stripes on your face because tigers have lots of stripes. So can you do that? There you go. That's the sign for tiger. Our first story is called Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. It's by Peter Brown. We're reading it with permission by Little Brown and Company. All right, let's get started. Everyone was perfectly fine with the way things were. Everyone but Mr. Tiger. Mr. Tiger was bored with always being so proper. Good day, Mr. Tiger. Good day, Mr. Deer. Lovely weather we are having, I suppose. Indeed. Now, children, please do not act like wild animals. He wanted to loosen up. He wanted to have fun. He wanted to be wild. And then one day, Mr. Tiger had a very wild idea. Look, he's gonna walk on all fours. He felt better already. Mr. Tiger became wilder and wilder each day. Roar! His friends did not know what to think. Peculiar, wow, unacceptable, hmm. And then Mr. Tiger went a little too far. His friends had lost their patience. Mr. Tiger, if you must act wild, kindly do so in the wilderness. What a magnificent idea, said Mr. Tiger. So Mr. Tiger ran away into the wilderness. Oh, that looks like a pretty wilderness. Where he went completely wild. Roar! There he is. But Mr. Tiger was lonely. He missed his friends. He missed the city. He missed his home. So Mr. Tiger decided to return. And he found that things were beginning to change. Look, some of the animals are walking on all fours. Now Mr. Tiger felt free to be himself. And so did everyone else. The end. I think that's a great story about being true to who you are. So our next story is What About Worms by Ryan T. Higgins and it's published by Hyperion Books for Children. Gerald, yes Piggy, I have a new book, but I cannot make heads or tails of it. Why not? Because it is about worms. It's also about time to get reading. I am a tiger. I am big, I am brave, and I am not afraid of anything. Except worms. Worms are slimy. Worms like to wiggle, and you cannot tell their tops from their bottoms. Oh look, flowers. I love flowers. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Wait. Flowers grow in dirt and worms love dirt. And this pot is full of gulp dirt. What if there are worms in this pot? Phew, there are no worms. <sighs> but I did break the flower pot. Oh look, an apple. I love apples. Crunch. Gulp. Oh. No. What about worms? 
Worms love apples. What if there are worms in my apple? Splat. Phew. There are no worms in my apple. But now I have no flowers and no apple. <sighs> worms ruin everything. Thanks a lot, worms. Look out, it's worms. Oh, it is not worms, it is a book. You can learn so much from a book. I love books. Oh no, gulp. What if it is a book about worms? Was that a tiger? I'm afraid of tigers, me too. Tigers are furry, tigers like to walk and you can tell their tops from their bottoms. Oh look, the tiger left us some dirt. Worms love dirt. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh look, the tiger left an apple. Worms love apples. Munch, 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 munch. Oh look, the tiger left a book. Worms love books. And is a book about worms. Worms love worms. Oh no, this is not a book about worms. It is a book about gulp tigers. Should we read it? I do not know. We are afraid of tigers. We are. We need to get to the bottom of this or the top. It does not matter, but we love books. We do. Let's try to read it. Oh wow, I did not know tigers are so big. I did not know tigers are so brave. I did not know tigers are not so afraid of anything. We learned so much and now worms love tigers. That nice tiger left us dirt, an apple, and a book. Let's give that nice tiger a thank you worm hug. Worm hug, worm hug, worm hug. Ah! Did you like that story? I did. That book's surprising tale made for a surprising tale. I love a book that worms its way into your heart. Yeah. The end. Wasn't that a silly book? I love that story. Okay, we are going to do the five little tigers rhyme. So get out your five little tigers and it goes like this. Five little tigers out for a stroll. One tripped on a rock and started to roll. She bounced down the hill and landed with the flop. Now, how many tigers are left walking through the swamp? Four little tigers out for a stroll. One tripped on a rock and started to roll. She bounced down the hill and landed with the flop. Now, how many tigers are left wandering through the swamp? Three, three little tigers out for a stroll. One tripped on a rock and started to roll. She bounced down the hill and landed with a flop. Now, how many tigers are left wandering through the swamp? Two, two little tigers out for a stroll. One tripped on a rock and started to roll. She bounced down the hill and landed with a flop. Now, how many tigers are left wandering through the swamp? One. One little tiger out for a stroll. She tripped on a rock and started to roll. She bounced down the hill and landed with a flop. Now there are no more tigers left wandering through the swamp. Good job. Okay, our last story called, I am a tiger. It is by Carl Newson and Ross Collins. And let's see who it's published by. Macmillan Children's Books. I am a tiger. Is he a tiger? No. No, you are not. A tiger is much bigger than you are. 
and it has a bit more grr. Tigers can be small too, grr. Not that small. And a tiger has stripes. Some do, this one doesn't. So there, I am a tiger. A tiger can climb a tree, can you? I could climb a tree. I could climb to the moon if I wanted to. Most tigers can. I am a tiger. Go on then, climb to the moon. I can't just now. It's time for my lunch. A tiger hunts for its lunch. Grrr, I am a tiger. No, you're not. You're a, 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 a chew. I am not an a, a, a chew. I am a tiger. No, I am a tiger. <gasps> Ha ha ha, you're not a tiger, you're a mouse. Look at your tiny twitchy nose. Look at your little hands and feet. I'll bet you had cheese for breakfast. I am a tiger. I can do this, can you? What about this? Oh dear, you sir are definitely a mouse and I am a tiger. If I am a mouse, then what are they? Furry, stripy, funny looking face. This is a caterpillar. Long, red, likes to bounce. This is a balloon. What? Thin, pointy, hangs in a tree. This is a banana. Tiny, colorful, sits on a stick. This is a lollipop. Mouse is so confused. Now I really must be going. My lunch won't catch itself. What a silly old bunch. Gah, I am not a tiger. How could I be so wrong? Look at those teeth, those claws, that tail. It's obvious. I am a crocodile. The end. That mouse was so confused and so silly. Well, thank you so much for joining me for story time today. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.